Hello guys, my name is Isaiah Fields, and I am back today with another sports broadcast, podcast I should say. So we have four topics to talk about today, and the first topic is about Jake Ryan, the veteran linebacker who played for the Green Bay Packers as well as for the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Ravens earlier this morning agreed to a one-year deal with Jake Ryan, and we don't know about how much money he has given that was not released, but we do know it's a one-year deal. The Ravens, all they've done this offseason, and this is, I'm saying all they've done in a good way, um, has beefed up their defense. Obviously, obviously, their defense was a little bit of a, a problem in the Titans game. If you don't remember, Derrick Henry absolutely ran over them like a bulldozer. Um, the Ravens, they did get Cal- Calias Campbell earlier this season, who has been really productive despite being on a team who was not productive. And... Uh, this was a smart move, in my opinion, by the Ravens to help out their linebacking core, who who I wouldn't say is really weak, but isn't the strongest part of their defense, other than uh, Matthew Judon. So I like that move by the uh, Baltimore Ravens to get Jake Ryan. Our second topic is about Trey Burton, the former Chicago Bears and Philadelphia Eagles tight end. He has been released today by the Chicago Bears. Um... Now, throughout Trey Burton's career, he has been injury prone, um, unfortunately. But when he is healthy and when he is on the field, he is productive and he is obviously at his best. That's how that's how it's been with most players in their career, but especially with Trey Burton, you can see that he's on the field and playing. He's at his best. But I'm going to tell you his injury history. He's been injured four times in his career. Uh, his first injury was a thigh hamstring sprain. He missed one game. In 2016, a leg calf pull. Um, he also he suffered it in practice, and he missed uh, week one, or one game. And then uh, 2017, back lower muscle spasms. Uh, I feel you, Trey Burton. Uh, but Burton missed one game. Uh, and then in the playoffs, I uh, believe, yes, in the playoffs, uh, not this, not last playoffs, but the 2019 playoffs, um, he pulled his growing. It was a grade one injury, and Burton missed the wild card game against the Eagles. And, and also, Cody Parkby missed a uh, field goal at the goalpost. Um, so that's something to uh, look, uh, um, look at to see where he's going to go, if any team's going to pick him up soon. Um, now, the Cowboys are after Jamal Adams again. Uh, earlier in the, during the 2019 season, the Cowboys were reportedly after Jamal Adams, but Jamal Adams said he doesn't want to be traded. He didn't want to be traded. He wanted to stay at the Jets, so the Cowboys left it alone. Um, now, I think that also the also, the Cowboys, like I just said, are after Jamal Adams. I think it's becoming more likely that the Cowboys will get Jamal Adams uh, because Jamal Adams and the Jets are in a messy situation. They are they have a little bit of tension going on. They're just not seeing eye to eye. So that's one of the reasons why Jamal Adams um, is holding out, as we discussed in uh, the previous video or the video before. Um, the Cowboys, they do need to address their uh, safety, their safety position. They did get HaHa Clinton Dix, who is a pretty good safety, but Jamal Adams, those two, HaHa Clinton Dix and Jamal Adams, would be a scary safety core. Now, our last topic is about the Cowboys tight end situation. Obviously, uh, the Cowboys lost Jason Witten. Um, during the off season to the Oakland to the now Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, yeah. Um, Jason Wynn throughout his whole career, an amazing tight end, so productive, so reliable. Um, he will catch the ball when you need him to. He will come up bl- big when you need him to. Um, so that was a huge loss. Now, uh, last video we talked about OJ Howard. And um, possibly him being uh, re- released, or 
were let go or traded by the Buccaneers. Uh, O.J. Howard has been extremely consistent throughout his career and his, especially the last few years he's played. Um, the Dallas Cowboys, that would be a great pickup if they got O.J. Howard, someone who is consistent, someone who, someone who is also a leader as well. Uh, Trey Burton, as we said earlier, has been re released. So if the Cowboys find a way to pick him up, that would be a good pickup. But the concern there would be his injury problem that he's been dealing with his career. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.